back. You're watching Overdrive. Just before the break, we were out reviewing the Hyundai Ioniq 5. This is the car that is being powered by a 72.6 kilowatt hour battery pack. It offers over 600 kilometers of driving range. And this car also offers vehicle to load function. Let's take a look. Now, the first thing that you notice when you start driving the Ionic 5 is again another benefit of this EV only architecture, and that's the sheer amount of visibility that you have. It's larger than the Tucson, like I mentioned before, but on the road, it doesn't quite ever feel like that. It feels quite compact on these narrow go and roads that we're driving on. It feels compact, and that's mainly down to the great visibility that you have. The Ionic 5 uses a 72.6 kilowatt hour liquid cooled lithium-ion battery pack that powers a rear-mounted electric motor. Now, the version of the Ionic 5 that you get in India is the single-motor rear-wheel drive variant. It makes 217 PS and 350 Nm, which is, say, par for the cost for similarly priced IC SUVs. So, in that sense, but of course, this being an EV, that sense of performance is slightly enhanced because of how easily accessible the torque is, which means that the Ionic 5 in any of the modes, the Eco, Normal or even the Sport mode, it feels quite brisk, it feels alert in just the way an EV should. And another great trait is that even at very high speeds, at speeds where you would usually expect EVs to sort of dull down their performance, it doesn't. So even at say 80 or 100, if you want to make an overtake, the Ionic 5 still has enough performance on tap to give you that overtake without any, you know, dip. So in that sense, the performance really does match up to the price and you will never quite notice or feel that you're in, an, in a slow car or feel out gunned by anything on the road. So whether it's on the highway or in the city, the Ionic 5 will do the job for you. The Ionic 5 doesn't alter outputs with drive modes, instead just changing pedal response and steering feel. You will also be pleasantly surprised by the Ionic 5's ride comfort. Despite these large, low-profile 20-inch wheels, the EV feels pliant over our roads. There's only a tinge of the firmness that you usually find in electric vehicles, but this only becomes a hindrance over very rough surfaces. The Ionic stays flat and poised at higher speeds, with again a plushness that is quite comfortable. This is matched with a competent handling character with that sense of balance that you usually find in rear-driven cars. Yes, there is some roll if you take a corner too quickly, but in regular driving, the Ionic 5 feels confident with the low-slung weight being well-managed. Now, you get quite a few regen modes with the Ionic 5, and these, again, alter the driving experience. So, for example, in the coasting mode, you will find that the Ionic 5 will move along without too much resistance, it feels like you are freewheeling completely, which isn't quite similar to an IC, but as you keep going through the regen modes, you notice that the resistance builds, there is a bit more heft to the pedal, the, the accelerator pedal, and there's generally a slightly different feeling coming from the car. So depending on what you like, for example, we found that in these narrow Goan roads, so the level two or the level three modes felt the closest to what you would feel in an internal combustion car. Now, another region mode that you don't see very often is an auto region mode that the Ionic 5 has. So, what this will do is it will keep changing the region levels, constantly varying it depending on how you're driving. Say, if you're in the city and it'll give you more region, if you're out on the highway, it'll automatically reduce the region. Now, you also get a one pedal driving mode, which Hyundai calls the I mode. And yeah, this genuinely is a one pedal driving mode. As you can see, it's come to a complete halt. And then you start off again. So yeah, this should be quite useful in traffic conditions if you can get used to driving in this mode. Although even a higher region mode should be fine. Uniquely, the auto region function uses the radar to judge region levels, which we found works intuitively enough to not distract from the driving experience. Now, when you want to charge the Ionic 5, you can do it at up to 350 kilowatts, which is really fast considering it's 800 volt architecture. But of course, in reality, it's very difficult to find such a fast charger in India, or for that matter, even globally. So in a more 
attainable 50 kilowatt charger you can charge it in about 57 minutes which is still not bad at all yeah the flap opens like this and an 11 kilowatt hour charging with the bundled ac charger will take about 6 hours 55 minutes now another great function is the vehicle to load feature which will give back 3.3 kilowatts so you can power say laptops and so on with an adapter you plug that in and you can use the ionic 5 to power a lot of gadgets the Ionic 5 is a clear step forward for Hyundai in many respects. It is expensive, but Hyundai India has been able to create a package that feels good value. This is down to the clear step up you notice in refinement, build and driving character over its lesser products. Well, it's time for us to head into our final break here on the show. But coming up on the other side, we'll dive right into all the details from India's first ever experience of Formula E at the Hyderabad Street Circuit. Stay with us, you're watching Overdrive. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Bertram. Pick up.